Proctor, many school districts in southeast Idaho considered the latest developments in education from the Idaho House and Senate and the effects that legislation would have on their revenue. Four counties have decided to propose a supplemental levy. Today was the vote. Summer Joy stopped by to find out how it was going and also to get the details uh, to which ones have passed. In School District 251, Fremont Joint School District 215, Salmon School District 291, and Arban Elementary District and Rockland District in Power County, we're asking for your vote today on whether or not to pass a new supplemental levy. Speaking with School District's 251 superintendent, he said that if this does pass, it means they will be able to continue with their programs as usual. But if it does not pass, students and faculty could see some changes. If it's not passed, then it means there are going to have to be significant cuts to the programs and services we have for students at this point. The levies range from $50,000 to $2 million, and in just School District 251, officials said that they had a pretty low turnout. Even though the school districts would have to make cuts, there were parents there that felt it still wasn't right to put more taxes on the community. We have several kids in school, and we're grateful for the school systems. We've done everything we can to be supportive. It's already been assessed greatly on our property taxes, and when the state took over the funding of the school systems through the increase of the sales tax from 5 to 6 percent, I don't think anybody considered that there might be an economic downturn, and therefore when they made those projections based on sales and the 1 percent increase in sales tax covering the cost of education, that was very short-sighted. Others, though, felt very different. I'm not a person who likes to have more taxes, but my dad's an educator. I'm someone who believes that, that uh, I'm invested not only in my own children, but also in, in other children in the community. The majority of people I spoke with were actually very torn on this issue. I have noticed funding has gone downhill. It is, isn't steady, it isn't predictable, we don't know what's going to happen. A lot of important programs have been cut, and I see the other districts in the area have passed levies, and that's what's kept them afloat. I hate to see it happen, because I think there needs to be a better way statewide to fund education. Summer Joy, KPVI, News 6.